Hey guys, good morning and happy Sunday. I hope you guys have had a beautiful week. I'm taking in some sunshine after a very, very rainy week this week here. Um, you may hear some background noises here and there. We're working on some home projects, so wish us luck on that. Now, last week we talked about flexing our faith muscles and then focusing on one thing we can do this week to help strengthen our faith and strengthen that faith muscle we talked about. For me, I decided to focus on writing in my prayer journal throughout the week, and maybe you knocked it out of the park, whatever you were working on, and you did seven out of seven days perfectly. Maybe you did one out of seven days or two out of seven days. Wherever you're at in that scale, know that you are on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing and, and just keep focusing on flexing that faith muscle. And so if you didn't do it every day, that doesn't mean to give up. That means to keep going and figure out what you can do to continue growing in your faith with God. Now today, we're going to kind of go along the same line and talk about something that isn't really happening much at all right now. Sports. <laughs> Does anybody have any favorite sports team? If anybody says anything other than UK, I just don't know what to do with you. So we have so many different types of sports from football, basketball, pole vaulting, right? There's hundreds of sports. Is there one that you think would be the hardest for you to do out of all the sports? Go ahead and think about it. If, if you have one in mind, feel free to jot it out. I'd love to hear. For me, I think the hardest sport for me to do would be gymnastics. And the reason I say that is because I'm bad at probably the two most common parts of gymnastics, um, flexibility, and I'm also afraid to flip over my head. So I don't think either would go very well with that. But what's interesting is in the Bible, we often hear our faith and, and our walk with God as a Christian to be compared to a sport or to a race, especially an Olympic race at a pretty high level, right? In Hebrews, we hear a lot of comparisons um, to a race in our faith. In Hebrews 12, we actually hear and we're told to let us run with endurance, the race that is set before us. Does anybody know what the word endurance means? It means to be able to last, last a long time, um, even when you're tired, even when you're sore um, or uncertain, you can still keep going. So we're told to let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking on to Jesus, the perfecter of our faith. How about that? So in this race, I can imagine that God would be a champion, right? <laughs> and, and for all of us, that's what we strive to be. We strive to be Christ-like. That's what Christian means. But do you think God expects us to, to just focus on the gold medal of a race during this? No, right? It's not just the end result of maybe you're perfect. We're never gonna be perfect, right? Not, not here on earth, but we can strive in the process to grow closer to God and to run right beside of him in this faith race. If anybody's a football fan, uh, you may be familiar with Drew Brees, quarterback of the Saints. When he won the Super Bowl the last time, um, he actually made a statement later that said, you can only see God's true plan for you when you try to look through the eyes of faith. Now, how interesting is that, that somebody who just won one of the biggest championships in the entire world talked about instead seeing a plan of God and the faith. Now, we hear in the Bible that people of faith have closed the mouths of lions. They've stopped fires. They've settled wars. All these crazy things. And, and I know football is awesome, but... But that's kind of a lot tougher, closing the mouth of a lion. That's a whole lot tougher than, than playing football, perhaps. But people have done all those things. And I don't know necessarily that you'll ever have to close the mouth of a lion, but know that you're also going to do amazing things in your walk with faith. And you're going to run that race, and you might stumble a, fall a few times, and you may have some questions, and that's perfectly okay. Um, just keep running the race and figuring out what you can do to flex your flux <laughs> to flex your faith muscle so this week i want you to focus on something else that you're going to do to help strengthen your faith muscle and strengthen your relationship with god maybe it's the same thing that you focused on last week or it's all brand new thing um, but i want you to focus on just one thing that you can do this week if you did it one out of seven days last week see if you can do it two or three days this week um, just keep growing and having fun and enjoy this time with your family and your loved ones can't wait to see you guys soon. Thanks, everyone. Have a great week.